Welcome back to my channel. Whenever I talk on my channel about the Hasselblad X2D 100C and I mention that this camera now finally has face detection autofocus, I get confused comments about face detection versus face detection. From now on this will no longer play a role because with the new firmware Hasselblad just issued for the X2D 100C we have both face detection with a PH means autofocus technology and face detection means detecting human faces and automatically setting the focus on the face of a human being. Let's kick off the video. All right, this will be fun because in this video I will compare a Hasselblad X2D 100C with the former firmware version, we look into the number in a moment, with the new firmware on the Hasselblad X2D 100C which just was published by Hasselblad some days back. So on this X2D camera here, let's quickly go into the menu, let's go here into general, then let's swipe down, let's go to service and then you see this is still firmware version 2.0.0. The lens firmware here has already been updated because on this camera here I have the brand new XCD90V. Well brand new is probably the wrong word because I ordered this lens and paid for it more than a year back but now finally it was shipped to me and uh, my next video on Hasselblad episodes will be about that lens only dedicated to that new telelens XCD90V and I will actually do two videos on this new XCD90V and the first one will be an unboxing video because here on my right hand side there is still a fully sealed box with the XCD90V in it and uh, a second video will be about taking the lens out into the field and shooting portraits and maybe also a bit of compressed landscape. The reason by the way why we have two camera bodies and every lens twice is that we need them in different places, one in the studio and one in another place. Alright, after going through the housekeeping items let's now go right into the topic and on this X2D camera body I've already updated the firmware. So let's have a look here, let's go into general, let's swipe here to service and then you see here I'm on version 3.1.0. By the way, as a little side remark, there is no version 3.0.0 which I would have expected if you publish a major firmware update. There is only 3.1.0 and maybe this is an indication why Hasselblad took so long to bring this feature face detection with an F into the X2D camera body and uh, very likely they had a version 3.0.0 but then they found bugs and things they needed to correct and then in light of prudent version management they gave the firmware update before they published it already a different number 3.1.0. The lens I have on that camera body here is the XCD55V. All of these lenses consistently the 38, the 55, the 90 they have a widest open aperture of f2.5. As I said, the XCD90V will be the topic of a future video in the next couple of weeks. And by the way, the lens firmware here is also new, is now version 1.4.1 and needs to be applied to the XCD55V. The XCD38V is already installed on the XCD90V and also needs to go onto the XCD28P which I reviewed some time back on my channel. And then everything is in good order and shape and we are good to go and let's start by looking into the camera with the old firmware first and let's look into the status screen here. So let me swipe down and then you see here is no field, it's just the autofocus which you can adjust, autofocus, manual focus, what have you and then here is empty space. That changes now with the new firmware. Let's go here on the new firmware into the status screen, let's swipe down and then you find here an additional item which you can touch and that indicates autofocus. Let's touch on it and then we have three options here. We can have face detection, face with an F now, off, we can have it on manual focus and we can have it on autofocus. And I'm going to test this out quickly with my model Yennefer and you will immediately get the point how well this face detection now works because my model Yennefer here is not even a real human being and nevertheless the face gets detected. I have now two super patient models in front of me on the table. Here you have Yennefer, everyone who follows me on my channel has seen Yennefer probably about a hundred times in different videos as my test subject 
And here on the right hand side, we have her friend, the Witcher. And one thing is clear, if face detection works on these two models, it will work in particular on human faces because these two models here are not even real human beings. All right, let's get this kicked off. I have the right setting here. You see I'm on auto face detection. Let's go into it. And you see Yennefer's face is immediately picked up. It also is a little bit sticky. If I would move the camera too much away, focus is lost. But the moment in time I get close to the face, the algorithm detects the face and also is sticky on the face. So I can focus here, you see? This is really good and is huge progress. I've not seen such a thing on a Hasselblad camera ever before. And uh, if I want to get to the other subject, I just move here the autofocus and then it jumps on the Witcher's face. And also here it is quite sticky. I can focus and get the Witcher focused here in scene. If I go back, see it jumps to Yennefer. Here it jumps back to the Witcher's face. Boom. And that works really well. I'm here at widest open app drive 2.5. So this field test, I think, is proof of evidence that face detection, face with an F, I need to smile when I say that, is working like a charm. And uh, I will, of course, test this out on the other Hasselblad camera as soon as I install the firmware, which will happen in a moment, because with the XCD90V and the new firmware 1.4.1, which I showed you before, this should work like a charm. And finally, we'll make model photography portraits with the Hasselblad X system so much easier and so much more convenient. Before I go into other features which came with the new firmware, let's quickly look here into how to install the firmware. And what I've done here on this camera is I have basically downloaded the firmware file from the Hasselblad website. It's all clearly explained there. Then I put it here on my Compact Flash Express card and now I'll show you how to update the camera. So let's do this quickly. Let's go here into general and then in general we swipe down to service and then you see here check for update. So it checks on the Compact Flash Express card if there's a new firmware file and you see I can choose here between the camera body version 3.1.0 and then here the combined firmware update, which is for the lenses. You see that's, as I mentioned before, for the 38V, the 55V, the 28P, and on the 90V, it's pre-installed out of the box. So let's update now the camera body here, also on that camera. Let's go into update, let's update, and then it says update in progress. Do not turn the camera off. I let now the camera do its thing, and then I will cover quickly other features, which came with the new firmware to these two Hasselblad X2D100C camera bodies. Another very useful feature which came to the X2D100C with the new firmware is that it incorporates the HEIF format now and that stands for highly efficient image format. And the way to find this is to go into the menu and then you go here into quality. And this is for me typically in RAW because I shoot in RAW on the X2D100C, but you can also go for RAW and JPEG and that has been there before. You can go for JPEG only has also been there before. What's new is you have no RAW and HEIF and you also have HEIF only. And that is a better quality, lower file size format than JPEG is the more advanced file format which you can have in photography. And now it's available here on the Hasselblad X2D 100C. So I think the best option here is to go for both RAW and HEIF and then you're always good to go. In the meanwhile, I have on the other camera body the firmware update completed, so let's quickly check this. I go here into general, and then we swipe down to service, and you see now it's version 3.1.0. Lens firmware, as I said, on the 90V is the correct one out of box. Besides face detection, face with an F, the other big upgrade is definitely not in the image format HEIF, or in the other couple of things I will mention in a moment. It is that you finally get live view if you go for tethered shooting with an iPad or an iPhone. And I have here on the left hand side my iPhone 15 Pro Max and here I have the X2D 100C and uh, I will now connect these two and you will see that finally live view will come on my iPhone so I will see live on the iPhone or my iPad which is even better because it's a much bigger screen what the camera is seeing in front of the lens. In order to connect this, let's go here into the Wi-Fi setting. So let's go to Wi-Fi, let's activate this and then actually the iPhone should recognize the camera and should also connect. And you see here it happens instantly. We have X2D 100C, let's connect it and uh, I need to confirm here that I want to join this and uh, then via network I can by the way without any cable do a live shooting a tethered live shooting from my phone and the only thing I have to do here is going on remote 
and et voila, thank you Hasselblad. Finally, we have live view here and that is absolutely fantastic. Now, unfortunately, there is one thing coming with tethered shooting in the way it is currently implemented by Hasselblad, which is super disappointing. Namely, there is no longer face detection in the autofocus available. And you see this here, if I focus, I can of course touch here now on my phone and place my focus field. So this would be Jennifer's body. This is the face, but you see the face is no longer detected. And if I swipe down here, then this will get here interrupted in live view. You see that space on the right hand side of the switch between autofocus and manual focus is in the same way empty as it was on the former firmware. I don't understand why the moment in time I switch into tethered shooting, I do no longer get face detection in the way it is implemented without tethered shooting. That makes absolutely no sense to me and is quite disappointing. And uh, of course, let's go back here into, so we get a live view. It's great that we have live view, but Hasselblad, really? If I go for tethered shooting, the autofocus face detection feature is switched off. That is really disappointing. And I don't understand why no one is talking about that in all the reviews and all the enthusiasm, which by the way, I fully share on the new firmware. It's great to have face detection. It's great to finally have live view under tethered shooting, but why the heck in live view do I no longer can detect a human face? That is something which is disappointing, but it is what it is. And maybe with a future firmware update, we will get it that also in tethered shooting, we can not only place the focus field here, let's focus somewhere else here in the background. Let's focus back on Jennifer. You see that should work quite well here. Um, but maybe in the future firmware update, we will also recognize Jennifer's face if we are under tethered shooting. The moment in time I interrupt the connection, I will get face detection back. So let's basically close this up here. Um, by the way, now it's still not available, although I'm here, for instance, in the album mode and uh, it says the library is empty. I have nothing here. So it, no matter what I do here, face detection as a feature is no longer available. There is nothing I can do about that. But if I interrupt the connection to my phone, then face detection will be back. So let's go here out of that. Let's go out here. Sorry, it's a bit difficult to do this. Let's close this up. And now you see if it is closed and I basically kill the Focus Mobile 2 app from the task manager, which then kills the connection to the camera, my face detection feature here is back. And uh, that is something which is, of course, a little bit strange. First of all, I thought when I played with it, it's maybe related to Wi-Fi. If Wi-Fi is on, maybe face detection goes off, but that's not the case. It's really about the connection between the camera body and between the phone. And if that connection is killed, then you are actually fine and get your face detection feature back. So have a look here, swipe down, here it is and it is currently on auto and will recognize Jennifer's face immediately jumps on the face, which is quite nice. All right, so that's the other feature we have. We have now live view in tethered shooting and that is of course great. But the last thing I really ask Hasselblad to do is make sure that also under tethered shooting, I get this auxiliary function that human faces are detected in autofocus mode. There are two more features I want to mention on that new firmware. And the next one is about sensor calibration. And that is something you find under the service menu here. And I've shown this before in relation to also hidden menus on the camera. So if I go here and go down, there is here sensor calibration and it says calibrate to get the best output from your sensor. XCD lens is required. Well, what it actually does, it calibrates the sensor for hot pixels or defect pixels. And so far this was only affecting live view. I believe this time it might also concern the final image output, but I'm not so sure. And then there is here a hidden menu. So this is all we have. I can swipe how often I want, nothing happens. But if I tap here, on the camera firmware for a longer time, it says additional functions now available in service menu. So let's have a look. And then I have below another menu entry. So it doesn't end with sensor calibration like it did before. After I activated now that hidden menu, there is another one which says additional functions. And that means I can also remove that sensor calibration again, and I can even activate a sensor calibration warning. And I covered hidden menus on Hasselblad cameras before, in particular on the X1D, where I had a malfunction. It was very important to find this, and a lot of people appreciated that. Here, it's also here. If you don't activate it by tapping continuously 
on the firmware of the camera, then it stops here at Calibrate. Otherwise, if you do that and activate that hidden menu, you get additional functions. But the moment in time you switch the camera off, this will be gone and you are back here. So you need to repeat that procedure if you're interested to have that menu entry here on the service menu. The very last feature of the new firmware upgrade, which I should mention is relevant for photographers who do studio photography and want to use a Pro Photo A10 because here Hasselblad has embedded in the new firmware now full support for that flash. Last but not least, as I said, very soon you will see my review of the new Hasselblad XCD90V shut on the X2D100C now with face detection one last time face with an F. And uh, of course, this will be a very interesting experience because very likely the 90V is one of the best portrait lenses I've ever shown on my channel. If you liked that video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up. Stay tuned on my channel. There's always more to come. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and healthy. And of course, peace out.